What is up, party people? Welcome back to the WooCommerce series. My name is Daryl Wilson, and today in this video, I'll be walking you guys through how to create a group product. Now, a group product is a product with multiple sizes in it, such as uh, you know memory size or inches or whatever. So in this video, I'll walk you guys through how to create a group product with WooCommerce. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead now and create a grouped product. Now, what is a group product? Well, here's an example of a group product. So here we have this basketball, right? And we have the title, we have some description, and then right here we have multiple sizes. So we have a 12 inch basketball, a 14 inch basketball, and also a 16 inch basketball. A good example of this also would be something like an iPhone. iPhones are probably one of the most popular group products you guys are ever gonna see, right? So here we have this iPhone and we have 128 gig, and then we also have 256 gig as well. So this is an example right here of a group product. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a group product from scratch. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's go ahead and go over here to our dashboard. Now, just remember, in order to create a group product, you guys will need to have the WooCommerce plugin installed on your website. If you guys don't have it installed, just go ahead and go to plugins and install it in the back end. But once you guys do have it installed, you'll go over here to products and then click on all products. At the top right here, I'll click on add new. And now we're gonna create a group product. Okay, so this is gonna be like basketball. Now for product description, I'm just going to go over here to ChatGPT and ask them to create some product description for a basketball. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use these technical details right here and I'll paste that over here. Okay, now below that we have product data. I'm gonna select group product. Okay, now group products, I'll be honest guys, they're a little weird. The way you make them is a little awkward. So we'll, we'll touch base on it as we go. Product short description, I'll go ahead and put in some key features here, right? Okay, and I'll paste it in right there. Wait, paste it, right? Okay. And over here on the right side, I'll click on add new category and I'll just put sports. For product image, I'll select a product image, selecting this basketball. And that is pretty much it. So I'll go ahead now and click on publish. All right. Now we have this product, right? So over here, I'll click on all products. So here we have this basketball, right? But people can't purchase it. We now need to create products and put it inside of this parent product. So over here, let's click on add new. This will be something like a 14 inch basketball. You guys can go ahead and add in product description about this 14 inch basketball, but I'm just going to enter in the demo content for now. Okay. Simple products. I'll go ahead and put something like 50 bucks. Now you guys don't really need to enter the description if you guys don't want to, but it's strictly optional. And I'll go ahead and add in the product image of just the basketball, right? And before we actually publish this, we need to do something. Over here under catalog visibility, I wanna make sure that this is hidden, okay? So make sure that you guys do hide this, okay? So you do not want this to appear on your shop. I'll click on okay, and then I'll click on publish. Okay, now we're gonna create the 16 inch. So over here, add new, 16 inch basketball. And I'll do the very same thing. Just go ahead and paste in some description. And then we'll do the very same thing. I'll just paste in some description, right? This will be $60, right? It's a little bit more expensive. Put some more description, right? And same thing, product image. I'll put the basketball. And then we're also gonna hide this as well. Okay. And then I'll click on publish. Now we're gonna make one more. All right. So now we have like the 20 inch. And I will also throw in some description here, right? This will be $100. You know, it's pretty expensive basketball, right? Okay. And then also we will add in the product image. Okay. We'll also make sure this is hidden. All right. And then lastly, we will publish this product. Okay, cool. Now let's go over here and click on all products. You're gonna see that we have these products right here. But what I want you guys to do is go to the first one, which was the basketball, and then click on edit. We're gonna scroll down, and as we scroll down, you're gonna see linked products. Let's click on linked products. Here you're gonna see group products. I'll go ahead and just type in basketball. 
our basket. Now you're gonna see 14 inch, 16 inch, and a 20 inch. Just go ahead and add all three of these. All right, and then the last one. Okay. And then also for the upsell, I'll just put in like a net. You know, why not? Okay. All right, so there we go. We added in those group products. The upsells is not required. You don't have to, but it's just, you know, if you just want to recommend the basketball net if they are currently viewing these products. Okay, so now let's click on updates. Now that we've done that, now let's go ahead and view the product. Here we go, we have this basketball, we have our key features, and over here you'll see we have 14 inch, 16, and then also 20. And you just can go ahead and add all these to the cart right here by clicking on add to cart. All right, so that is a group product. I know it might be a little weird and awkward to create, but that's just how it's done, right? So that is how you guys can create a group product with WordPress and WooCommerce. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys want to learn how to create this same e-commerce website and ultimately learn how to use WooCommerce, I will go ahead and leave this tutorial in the description below where we show you guys how to build this same e-commerce website from scratch using WordPress and WooCommerce. So again, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. All right, party people, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys do want to learn how to make that amazing e-commerce website, we have that tutorial in the description below this video if you guys do want to go ahead and check it out. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.